Hey guys, it's Ben with Bra Automation. Today I'll be demonstrating how to install Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. Home Assistant is an awesome open source home automation platform. It's run by a great group of developers who are always adding new features and abilities. Before you install Home Assistant, you'll need to download and load an operating system onto your Raspberry Pi. If you've done this already, feel free to skip ahead. First, download an operating system by going to raspberrypi.org. Click on the Downloads tab and select an operating system on the list. In this tutorial, I'll be using Raspbian, but you could use Noobs as well. Right-click on Download Zip and save to your computer. This download could take a while, so be patient. Once finished, right-click on the zip folder and extract the disk image. Next, you'll need to download and install Win32 Disk Imager. If you haven't already, insert your SD card into the SD card reader and plug it into your PC. Open Win32 Disk Imager and select the disk image previously extracted. Select the device you want to install the image on, then click right. Once complete, remove your SD card and plug it into your Raspberry Pi, along with the power and ethernet cables. You don't need to plug in a monitor or a keyboard into your Pi. We'll be installing Home Assistant from the client computer you're using to image the SD card. Once powered on, the Pi should automatically show up as a network device. You will need to use an application like NetScan or Fing to identify the IP address of your Pi. You can also check your router's DHCP table or whatever method you prefer. Next, download and install PuTTY. Open PuTTY and type the IP address of your Pi. In my case, that's 192.168.1.140. Make sure you use port 22. You can save this configuration so you don't have to remember it every time. The default username is Pi and the default password is Raspberry. The first thing I do after installing Raspbian is change a few configuration options. Type sudo raspy-config and press enter. Then, using the arrow keys, select expand file system and select OK. Change the default account password to whatever you like. I also set it so that the Raspberry Pi logs into the Pi account by default and boots to the console. This doesn't matter for Home Assistant though. Next, I change the time zone so that my Pi reports the correct time. I also select a mild overclock. This doesn't give me too many issues, even running without a case. Once you've done those things, arrow down and select Finish. This will prompt you to reboot your Pi. You also need to close PuTTY and reopen it once the Pi is restarted. Now, log back in and type sudo apt-get update. Then type sudo apt-get upgrade. As a warning, the update command can take forever. And by forever, I mean like 12 hours, depending on how the servers are running. Hopefully, this gets fixed, but be patient. Now it's time to install Home Assistant. Type sudo pip3 install Home Assistant and press enter. Once finished, we'll create a script that starts Home Assistant automatically when you power on your Raspberry Pi. First, go to the URL below and copy the text of the script. Then in the console, type sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash has dash daemon. Paste the script by right clicking. I changed the run as field from pi to root. Save the script by pressing Control X and then pressing Y and enter. Next, we'll need to update the permissions of the script. Type the series of commands shown on the screen or in the description below. Once finished, we'll install the script by typing sudo service hash dash daemon install. Once finished, restart the Raspberry Pi by typing sudo reboot. Once it powers on, Home Assistant should start automatically. The first time Home Assistant runs, it might take a while to load the necessary dependencies. 
You can access the Home Assistant user interface by opening your web browser and typing the IP address of your Pi at port 8123. In my case, that's 192.168.1.140.8123. To make changes to your Home Assistant configuration, you have a couple of options. You can use PuTTY and open the Home Assistant configuration file by typing sudo nano forward slash var forward slash opt forward slash home assistant forward slash configuration dot yam. You can make the necessary changes and then save by pressing Control X and pressing Y and enter. Another option is to use an application called WinSCP. Once downloaded, open it. Log into your Raspberry Pi similar to PuTTY. Type in its IP address, its username, and its password. You can save the configuration so you don't have to remember it for next time. To get to the configuration file for Home Assistant, click the up arrow to go to the root directory of the drive. Click on var, and then opt, and then the Home Assistant folder. You can edit the configuration.yaml file using WinSCP's built-in text editor. You can also use a different text editor with WinSCP, such as Notepad++. I find that advantageous because more advanced text editors can show white space, which is important for the Home Assistant configuration file. After making any changes to the Home Assistant configuration, you'll need to restart Home Assistant by opening PuTTY and typing sudo service hass daemon restart or just by rebooting your Raspberry Pi by typing sudo reboot. In my next video, I'll talk about setting up Samba, which makes editing your configuration file even easier. It also makes sharing files between your client computer and your Raspberry Pi super easy. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or at my website at braautomation.com. Cheers.